Tay Bizzles Podcast. We special, man. We got a special guest today. Song of the week. And we got high. There you go. I got flow productions on the um, podcast. I live it and draw. It's a masterpiece. I'm running my city like masterpiece. Ain't nothing that's real coming after me. I went got a bag. Now they mad at me. Front line, that attention. Certain things we don't mention. That money be calling. I'm on the way. Just follow me. I'm a lead the way. I live it and draw. It's a masterpiece. I'm running my city like masterpiece. Ain't nothing that's real coming after me. I went got a bag. Now they mad at me. Front line, that attention. Certain things we don't mention. That money be calling. I'm on the way. Just follow me. I'm a lead the way. Bosses only talk to bosses. Nigga gone, wake baby up. Just the second baby, fuck the city up. Niggas dig riding, holding sippy cups. I did it all on my own. Some of the hardest shit that I ever wrote. That Mac one, some of the best smoke. Blue Navy seal like jet throw. Look, we gotta get it together. I'm down to work with whoever. You play me, you dead. You dig in the grave, somebody go get him a shovel. And that shit can go for whoever. Free buzz down to watch with the bezel. When they come to the game, it's whatever. I didn't really have talks with the devil. I lift it and draw, it's a masterpiece. I'm running my city like Mac. Ain't nothing that's real coming after me. I went got a bag, now they mad at me. Front line, that attention. Certain things we don't mention. That money be calling, I'm on the way. Just follow me, I'ma lead the way. I live it and draw, it's a masterpiece. I'm running my city like masterpiece. Ain't nothing that's real coming after me. I went got a bag, now they mad at me. Front line, that attention. Certain things we don't mention. That money be calling, I'm on the way. Just follow me, I'ma lead the way. I pop me a perky and pull up a deuce. They go OD in the studio. Make sure that I'm fly on any given night. I can fuck around and shoot me a video. Face shit, no oblige. You tripping, you die. And that's just as far as the city go. I nut in a faith and go back a page. This shit like a game with you silly hoes. I'm having my way with this shit. I got floated, don't play with this shit. I was stuck in the band of the coke. I had ounces and quarters and eighths of the shit. Yeah, that drink got me slow mo. The new hit is go mo. It's gonna make me famous and shit. But that money ain't changing me. I signed a deal and I'm bringing it back to the bricks. I live it and draw. It's a masterpiece. I'm running my city like masterpiece. Ain't nothing that's real coming after me. I went got a bag, now they mad at me. Front line, that attention. Certain things we don't mention. That money be calling, I'm on the way. Just follow me, I'ma lead the way. I live it and draw, it's a masterpiece. I'm running my city like masterpiece. Ain't nothing that's real coming after me. I went got a bag, now they mad at me. Front line, that attention. Certain things we don't mention. That money be calling, I'm on the way. Just follow me, I'ma lead the way. Niggas ain't catch on yet. Every other bar is a set. And every other gang got a rival. And every hood nigga got an idol. And they look like me. Young nigga putting on, who gon' kill for his blood, nigga right or wrong. I'm talking Every other song, giving y'all my life, and most of the shit that I've been on. They ain't cut like that, they don't rap like that, and I'm standing on that. Nigga, ten toes. If I show it, I blow it. I'm hoping you know it. Where you end up, only God knows. I'm humble as fuck, I don't say shit. Back to back, high blaze, piff. Ben's truck like a spaceship. She give me jaws to her facelift. Shine. Once again, part of life by what you say the name was John Shine, Ali. Shine Ali. Shine Ali. Yeah. I, I butchered that name that fast. Yeah. But man, once again, special guest, I got Flow Productions. Um, and I'm keep saying this. What's your real name? <laughs> My real name is you know we're gonna keep that on the low, but okay. everybody call what me Flow. Call you Flow. All right, yeah, got everybody you. call me Flow. All right, for sure. But and I seen your um logo on this um music thing. Is that like an artist for you or something? Yeah, Shine Ali is an artist that's connected to what I got Flow. Okay, so uh, let, let's talk about your platform. Uh, what would you call it, the I Got Flow Productions? What would you so call I Got Flow Productions is the brand name. Okay. Step up, to, step up to the mic is the platform. Okay, step up to the mic. Yeah. All right. When was this I Got Flow Productions originated? I Got Flow started probably about, what, six, six seven years ago? Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, when you start something new, you got to... You gotta master it. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, you gotta you gotta work on the craft mm-hmm. and all that, that. And that basically started from, you know, I was doing the music shit, you know what I'm saying, and paying other videographers for music videos. Okay. And I just wasn't liking the work. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, fuck it. You don't like and it, you gotta do it yourself. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You wanna do it right, you gotta do it yourself. Facts. So from there, I just started fucking with the cameras and shit. Mm-hmm. And um, YouTube University, of course. Of course. You feel me? And from now, we got to this point. Okay. Now, with the platform, I see, I, I ran across your platform, and I just see a lot, over the years, I've seen a lot of people with the- um, The mics. The mics hanging yeah. down, and, and it's yeah. becoming like more more popular. I forgot some of the, the names that I it's ran across. It's becoming more saturated. Yeah, I, I should say, saturated. like the rap game, I use that word a lot when it's oversaturated. 
where did you feel you found your lane and your platform for yours to be notarized and noticeable from other people looking on the outside in with all the same type of people doing it? So, again, I got Flow Productions. That was a few years back. Mm -hmm. All right, so we went to um, Austin, Texas. Okay. Back in 22. South by Southwest? South by Southwest. We went, did the South by Southwest. We ran into uh, From the Block. Okay. You heard me? Chicago, huh? Yeah, I, I believe they are based. I ain't really know too much about them. Okay. I just seen a few of their, you know, they mic videos or whatever a few times leading mm-hmm. up to that point of meeting them out there. So they was like 1500, you know what I'm saying? Because we was out there for the network. So they was like 1500. I'm like, nah, we not about to drop 1500. Hold up, to what? To do what? To do the step up. I mean, not a step up, to, but to do their platform on there uh, from the block. Oh, all right, I got yeah, you. Right then and there on the spot, you know what I'm saying? Sauce Walker had popped up out there. He did one, you know what I'm saying? I got some behind the scenes footage of that shit. Okay. You feel me? But we weren't fucking with it at that time. All right. So I'm like, man, we gonna bring this shit to the city. Mm-hmm. You know, they basically <laughs> inspired. Right, all to right. Step up to the mic. Got you. Addition. Got you. In the city of New Orleans, you heard me? Mm-hmm. Louisiana as a whole. So um, we brought that shit back to the city, started fucking with it, mm-hmm. and it just they love took it. off. They love it. You know what I'm saying? And I really didn't see, I'm going to keep it a buck, I really didn't see a lot of cats fucking with the mic videos in the city right. until that step up to the mic took off. You heard that. You're saying you're the, you originated you in the city. I ain't saying that. I ain't saying that. <laughs> I ain't saying, saying that, that you feel me? <laughs> Fuck. But I'm just saying, I know that. A lot of the motherfucking mic videos that came followed after you. After that, you got you. Me? Now stepping up to the mic, like you said, is separate from I Got Flow Productions. So, what was I Got Flow Productions before stepping up to the mic came? What, what else is it? So I got Flow Productions. All right, we was doing interviews, okay, um, music videos, and basically anything with that was dealing with you know video production. All right, got you. But when the step up to the mic kind of took off. I had to put all that shit to the side. Came to the forefront. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, because that was a lot of time here and now pulling myself, wearing myself thin. Right. You feel me? The step up to the mic was a more simple, but impact, more impactful mm-hmm. uh, platform. So I'm like, fuck it. Let's get this platform up here. And mm-hmm. then I can go back to the music videos, right. the regular music videos, as well as, you know, shooting weddings and gotcha. all the other shit that I was doing before the step up to the mic. Came about facts. You gone was bringing up bring, bringing the on paper. Correct. It's not just about the money too. It's about building my platform. Exactly. You know, everything is numbers nowadays. Yep. Whether it's money or whether it's views or whether it's followers on Instagram, exactly. YouTube, and all that. There, you feel me? So that's the whole thing right now is to build my because I really wasn't no guru with the fucking social media, social media. YouTube, none of that. I rarely even post to my YouTube and I'm still working on that shit trying to build that shit up. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But as far as being a social media guru, like I, we just got on that shit like a few years back. We ain't, you know, I ain't never had no MySpace or no shit like that before <laughs> Instagram. I wasn't even fucking with none of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So Instagram and shit was new to me mm-hmm. and learning the fucking algorithm. As soon as a nigga learn one part of the algorithm, they flip that bitch. Yeah, they change it. it and they change and then you gotta, you know, you gotta, you gotta go. Adapt. So I'm like, all right, whatever. I'm just going, what I'm going to do is to see if it worked for me is I'm just going to drop on your ass every day. Every day. Every, every chance I get mm-hmm. You're going to see that logo and you're going to see a video. You're going to see a video, video you're going to see that logo. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't like care. That. Yeah, I, I'm posting at 3 in the morning, 5 in the evening. When you wake up, you're yeah, going to see it. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you're gonna, I am, I'm not going to give you no other chance, no other. You're going to see that bitch regardless. Right, you got Whether the it. algorithm is pushing it or not. Right. You ain't going to have no choice. Right. We'll make it hard for you not to see it. Got you. Now, when I go on your page, it's flooded back to back. How often do you shoot these videos? And is it one place or you go around the city? I got different locations in okay. the city. Um, I've traveled to Houston, Mississippi. Mm-hmm. I've traveled outside of, you know, Louisiana. Right. I don't want people to just think I only shoot in New Orleans. Right. But the thing about it is if you want me to travel, it's actually that come with a price. That makes sense. You feel me? Don't hit me up thinking you're going to get the local price. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And I'm traveling to Houston or any other state outside of Louisiana or even any other city outside of New Orleans. All right. You got to accommodate you, I'll pay you. Yeah, you going to yeah. pay for the hotel. And like I said, it's not, you know, the money is one thing, mm-hmm. but to see that brand blossom. The reach. You feel me? And the traffic and the followers build, mm-hmm. that's what I'm, that's the, real, that's the real aim because once you got the followers and they all organic, mm-hmm. the money going to come regardless. Facts. Um, I got a question. Where, what's the most you filmed in one single day? 
Shit, when I first started doing a step up to the mic, mm-hmm. I, I set up under the bridge up a clay ball. Okay. Clay ball. And shit, I think I might have did like 10 to 15 in that one day. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't even like a full day. It was a couple hours because, you know, that's when they started. NOPD, you know what I'm saying? Started. Like, right, nah, you can't be. You need yeah, a permit yeah. to do all this stupid shit. Like, oh, come on, man. All right. But anyway, so, yeah, about 10 to 15 videos in one day. And that's tough. So how many takes is it? It must be quick. It's one take. Damn. Unless, it's one take unless I feel like, nah, let's do it again. All right. You know, some artists, they'll be the recorded. Look, I didn't have artists that don't even really rap. Mm-hmm. So I ain't even call them artists. I'm going to just say a rappers. And they don't really rap, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but they didn't went into the studio, recorded the song, and then hit me. Man, I just wanted to do the stuff. Yep. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got testimonies on that shit. Right. Man, fuck, I don't even do music like that. But I had to get on that platform. I need my solo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I ain't going to lie, like, my page, uh-huh. I really cleaned that bitch up. Because, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I was critiquing this shit. So a lot of stuff when I first started shooting, mm-hmm. like probably about the first six months, six to eight months of me starting to step up to the mic, I took all that down off my page. I didn't Jay, shot. Like I look. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. I, I, not, not that it wasn't clean, you right. know what I'm saying? It just was a was thing it your standard, me. Your yeah, standard, it was, yeah, it was with me, you feel me? So I say from May 2022 up until this point, got to be well over like 400 plus, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Step up to the mics that was done. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And, and some of them, of course, was artists that repeated, came back, did another song, did another gotcha. song, did another song. And then we just kept working from now. For sure. Now, um, with the platform, I want to get into a little bit. Before you created this platform, you already had the I Got Flow, you said. Right. Get into a little bit of your background. What drove you? You, you say you used to um, do music. When, when, when did you start doing music? When did this come in your life? Man, I always just liked the music. You know, mm-hmm. just being around the music scene, in the stu- whether it's in the studio or at, you know, some type of performance or whatever, you feel me? So back in the day, we used to be with uh, Game Up Records okay. and uh, Birthright. <laughs> Birthright. <laughs> yeah. Game Up Records. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Game Up Records. So that was a little show we was building. Okay. Um, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying, Hurricane Katrina had, you know, demolished all those dreams and shit. Mm-hmm. So that shit just got put on the back burner. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did a couple years out there in Frisco. That's when I was really putting the work in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't have no street name out here. All that was done. You know what I'm saying? I would say if you niggas out, if you niggas go 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 get the bag, get out your city, go get the bag somewhere else. You say it's Frisco, San Francisco? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bay, How long uh, were you out there? Uh, about two years. Okay. About two years out there in the Bay, you know, back and forth across the uh the Bay Bridge, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, from Oakland to Frisco. Shout okay. out to Oakland, Frisco, you know what I'm saying, the whole Bay area. Facts. It was crazy out there over the 05, 06. Same like you got you some memories, saying? bro, yeah, for them two yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was sure. crazy, but um, yeah. All right. Um, Now, after um Frisco, you came back to New Orleans? Came back to the city. Why? I had to move around. Okay. Got I you. had to move around, mm-hmm. but uh, left, left, I think that was about 07. Seven, yeah, about about seven, you dig, and uh, got back to the city. City wasn't hitting on shit. Right. I was like, "Fuck!" I thought this was, <laughs> I thought it was a shake bag. It wasn't no shake no bag at that back, point. Huh? You know what I'm saying? So nothing was really popping. So mm-hmm. you know, you get a regular job, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? I always been about the money, regardless. Right. Ain't just you no know, like no hustle. A hustle is a hustle. Right. You know, fuck what a nigga talking about. Like a hustle is a hustle, whether it's nine to five. Whatever, I prefer you go get a nine to five and do your thing. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That way, you know that's safe money. You exactly. feel me? All right, for sure. Now, as, as as the time goes on from when you was rapping to the time you just mentioned, 07, 08, man, bro. Man, look, man. It's different <laughs> now, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, way different. Over the last, I would say, from 2015 to now, it's like a new generation of type rap. This one was a lot of people call mumble rap came in. Mm-hmm. More of the harmonizing and singing. More of the drill rapping. Stuff like that. What's your take on the music industry overall right now? It's really no standards. Mm-hmm. To me, it's no standards. It's no code. It's just whatever whatever goes viral, whatever becomes a hit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no ill will towards it. It is what it is. You got to find your niche. Make you a hit and then build from there. Okay. For Bottom sure. line, like the real shit that we grew up on and that we knew, it's gone. that shit dead. Mm-hmm. So don't even try to keep holding on to that because you're not going to eat. Mm-hmm. 
If you're going to hold on to that, you better have another source of income right. because that shit is dead, dog. It is what it is. People want to, they want the music that they could do TikTok videos to, that they could dance to, yep. feel good about. So you better have something in that motherfucker that's going to make a motherfucker want to move. Right. Make them make want to get up and do a video, make a short clip, and boom, you viral. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, one thing I want to say, you listen to a lot of artists. They come through your platform. Do you get the song before you shoot the video, or yeah. you get it right on? I that? get the song before. Okay. Um. It. What is that like a requirement, or do you gotta approve the song or something? Nah. No. Nah. See, right now you don't have. I don't. I don't approve it. Okay. Like it's whatever you know. Whatever you, you, you want. Send shoot. the bread. We gonna we gonna get it done. <laughs> <laughs> you send the bread. It is what it is. Yeah, huh? and, and, and I'm gonna tell you, man. Don't come in my DM telling me or trying to tell me how to run my business. How to how to you know, how I'm to saying? feel? I had a nigga come in that bitch like, man, that ain't that ain't business, right? You don't you don't get the bread before we shoot the video. I'm like, what the fuck? Who said like, that? Where they do that at? Who said where that? Where they do that at? So you gonna go Wait, in, the, all you gonna go in the store, any one of these brand name stores, and you gonna tell them how to operate their business? Yeah, you know that's crazy, man. Customer service, bro. Um, do you deal with each client by yourself, or you have yeah. somebody else who helps? Everything you? right here. Everything you right here, dog. for sure. You know what I'm saying? Got you. Now, um, I hear you say, like, you say we a lot. Um, I assume that's partner. When y'all when y'all working together, is that any time? Like when you say you have a problem with artists telling you how to run your business when they get to the shoot. Is it say, oh, I want it like this, I want it like that, but you got a certain way you film your own thing? The step up to the mic is standard. Mm -hmm. It's already structured. Okay. It ain't no coming there. It's not a regular music video, and I I, I, I preach that mm -hmm. to a lot of artists. Like, you don't have to do all the, the shit that you would do for a regular, you know, they like, I got to get my makeup done, I got to get my head done. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I respect it. I, right. I respect it because... It makes me feel good as far as like, damn, they doing all this to get on this platform. Yeah. So it must be something. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And then you got something that just show up. Like I'm ready. To, I'm ready to get it. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Um, but it is a structure. It's it's already set up. Everything nine times out of ten. When they pull up, I'm already set up, ready to go. All you gotta do is come perform. Get in front of. Let me get my focus right. Make sure we good. And then I'll start the music. You do your thing. Okay. Um, with the cameras, how long did it take you to adapt to the cameras, the setting, the functions? How long was that for you? Well, I was already familiar with the cameras. Okay. It was, you know, so I had already been doing the video shoots before that. Mm -hmm. It was just getting that right angle and that shot. So I'd say about a couple months. Okay. A couple of months. shooting. Yeah, a couple months of shooting different artists. Okay. Um, when you when you started editing, what was your favorite part with the music videos? Why did you go to that first? Shit, the music video. Mm -hmm. Man, well, I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It just it just happened like that. You just really, I think that? no, no, no. Let me take that back. It wasn't just like the music videos at mm -hmm. first. It was everything. It was whatever. When I first started out, you know how I go. Whatever you I just need to shoot something. <laughs> I just so need every practice. day I'm trying to shoot something. Yep. I'm hitting up all this man. Let me shoot your music video. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, um, man. You got a wedding or you got this? Let me let me it shoot that. that. <laughs> you know that. Just give me, just let me eat and give me some gas money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's how it be. Yeah. Like, it ain't like, yeah. You be fiending the so shit. So it wasn't the like it was specifically aimed mm -hmm. at music videos. It was just whatever I could shoot, mm -hmm. I wanted. Okay, got you. Now, as you develop with your editing skills, what was your? Because I want to lay this out for all the people who probably want to start a platform like you. What was you editing on at first? They have a bunch the of program. things. Yeah. I always Software. I've always edited on Final Cut. Okay. Yeah. And as it updated over years, I just updated with it. But okay. Final Cut. You know, I got all the programs to edit on, Premiere Pro, uh DaVinci da Resolve. Mm -hmm. I just don't use them. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But I heard, you know, just comparing that Premiere Pro was better than Final Cut. Right. But I don't know. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't tapped into it. <laughs> you paying so that monthly yeah, fee for no reason. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I ain't tapped into it. For sure. Now, you like I said, a lot of people come to the step to the mic, step up to the mic. Right. Who um are some of your favorite ones that you've done so far that stand out to you? If you got a top three, I can see. Let me put of you course, on the spot. Of course, Shine Ali. Okay. Shine Ali. Mm -hmm. Um. Cut a gang. J Black. Oh, not my dog. Yeah, J Black. Cut man. a gang. J Black. I um, flashing. <laughs> Who else? That's uh, number two, last one, number three, man. Dino, by the way. 
Okay. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that shit was hard. Yeah, I think I like that one. <laughs> yeah. That shit was hard. She brought that energy, brother. Yeah, she did. Yeah, for Man. sure. She fucked with me on that one. That that thing, she was the first artist mm-hmm. on the platform that went over hundred K. Fire. Yeah, she was the first one. I gotta give her, her you know, a <laughs> shout out for that. You know? She was the first yeah. one, you know what I'm saying? That hit hundred K views. Facts. Um when when it when it comes to numbers, when you see something like that, what's the reaction? Um, your real your real life reaction as you because when you put it out, you see it, you see the lights mm-hmm. flying mm-hmm. in, especially when it's like a collab post. Mm-hmm. You see them lights, you like, damn, that be going up fifty million. <laughs> and that's man, I'm glad you said that shit about the collab post. I respect all the artists since since Instagram been allowing us to do the collab I know what post. You, about to say. you feel me? Uh-huh. But if we collabing if we collabing on a post, don't mm-hmm. don't take yourself off that motherfucker. Come on now, for real. Now. Don't take yourself off that post. Yeah, man. you feel me? And if you and if especially if I didn't did it for you for free, mm-hmm. we definitely collabing. Facts. We definitely collabing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and that shit that shit that's it's one thing weird. that's weird about. You know, these artists in New Orleans. I don't know if it's all over. I can only give you it's an experience well. from what I deal with. <laughs> so, all right, if you say it's everywhere, it's well. but I'm only dealing with, you know, yeah, New Orleans. artists in Louisiana, New Orleans, or whatever. Man, y'all got to stop with that weird shit. Y'all say it's no support. Mm-hmm. It's no coming together. It's no unity. And then y'all got some popularity. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And when you, when you collab with somebody that's... Probably got some that brings followers, their followers below you. Too. You know what I'm saying? It combines both followers. Man, look, accept that. That's unity right there. Yep. You know, support ain't just a motherfucker showing up to your show yep. when you want them to. Support is that's a that's a form of support. Exactly. So we working this shit together. Let's work it together because you don't know when that motherfucking gonna go viral. Exactly. But if you taking yourself off that bitch, like your the views slowing up. It is. You feel me? I agree. I agree with that statement because. Kind of like the same points you um pushing. If we gonna collab, it's, it's it's like you bringing your followers. I'm bringing my followers. It's combining. Some of my followers don't know you. Some right. of your followers definitely don't know me. Especially if you like a bigger artist. And when a bigger artist do that, it just connect and it hit different, bro. Right. Because they see the platform, then you get a bunch of artists come to you. Exactly. Like, oh, I want one of these videos. I want that money in your pocket and more reach. But um, I want to get to um also more of the music industry because you say weird rappers. It local, it's weird rappers everywhere, mainstream and everything. Yeah, yeah. Like you talked about the music, and we talked about the music. I'm only speaking on bit. what I've exactly. experienced. Exactly. So now, when I get outside the box more, you gonna see. Then I'm gonna see it, and I'm gonna say the same shit. <laughs> exactly. All right, it's not just right. where I was at; it's all over. Exactly. With the music industry now, with the new with the new rap, who are some people um you you listening to in your playlist? Mainstream, yeah. Fuck the normal man, Drake, mm-hmm. uh, Lil Baby, um, whatever. It's really no, 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 no select, no Specific selective people. group. It's basically what I like. Okay, you feel me? Some shit I like. My people, you know what I'm saying? They ain't fucking with. All right, you know so, what I'm saying? So like, everybody like, got like, these picks. Like, like, I know everybody been fucking with your boy. Uh, he dropped that song, uh, "Lose Control," I believe it's called. The white dude, man. Uh, Russ, Teddy, Teddy Swims or some oh, shit I like that. Teddy Swims. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> See what I'm saying? What's, uh, how it go? You gotta pull it up. <laughs> I'm not he about said, to say that. I ain't about to say that, man. <laughs> no, 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 not that one. Teddy swims, man. Teddy swims. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know that one. Oh man. Oh, you. T- oh, that's Jack Harlow. Who you was saying? Oh, yeah, I don't know Teddy about swims. Jack Harlow. But it's basically whatever, whatever. Uh, hits my ear, dog. All right, for sure. Um, I want to talk about the New Orleans music scene. We we talk about the attitude of the artists, but um. Well, where you feel the new artist music scene at right now? You feel like they we producing it's good music? It's all over the place. Mm-hmm. It's all over the place, but yeah, I mean, it seemed like the bounce scene has really yeah. like Ooh. elevated to another level, and that's cool. That is, that's cool. I ain't got no problem with it, but it still lacks. Um, I'm not no music guru, but it still lacks that um, that company to just elevate these artists that's going viral. They still got to get outside the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They still got to get outside the city to make even more moves. You don't have somebody in the city making those moves. And that's and that's crazy to say that you had No Limit Records, uh, Cash Money Records, and all them other record labels mm-hmm. that had laid a staple in the city of Foundation. New Orleans. But it's nothing it's to... No follow up. You know, you can't go to no, no record label office door and... and and in knock New Orleans on. and knock on the door and say, "Look, I'm so and so. This is my demo. Right. Check it out. Yeah. Right. Or you know, I got a viral song. 
I got I'm some just trying to sit down, down at the table with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you can't do wait. What I said? Why? Why you think that is? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's still that individual, just just that New Orleans culture of being individual. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because the Lil Wayne's and Baby and Master P, they got the fuck out of here, and they ain't, it's like they ain't look back. Mm-hmm. You feel nice. me? Um, what, what, what's your platform? What do you see it going at? What, what do you want it to reach? When you made it, what, what you thought it would be? When I made it, I just, like I said, I wanted to use that as a, a, a vehicle mm-hmm. to build my social media platform. Okay. You feel me? Now, I'm inspired by From the Block to get to that point with it, but I know that this shit is only going to be temporary. Mm-hmm. It's not going to be something that's going to, just continue, continue, continue to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just to let it get to the point that it need to get to okay. and just build off of something else from that. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And that's basically just growing that page, that platform. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. Um, with, thing, with things in New Orleans, the music scene, like you said, bounces kind of like, I don't want to say overshadowed, but it's definitely leaped over the rap scene over the years with more and more um, bounce artists coming through. What you feel... I'm trying to see how I'm going to word this. How do you feel? You feel it's a lack of marketing, a lack of talent? A, what, 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 what is it with the music in New Orleans? You think you think we have the talent, but don't have the, like you say, the label, the marketing? Uh, is the talent level we not got the, there? You got the, you got the talent. Mm-hmm. The artist, I believe, just this is my opinion. I mm-hmm. don't care if you agree with it or not, and I ain't just talking to you. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? They don't want to put the money behind the market. Okay. They'll they'll put the money behind creating an image. Right. So they got to go get the Balenciagas. Mm-hmm. They got to go get the Gucci or whatever the fuck they wearing now because I don't wear that <laughs> shit. You know, you see, this this me every day. Every day. A fresh tee with the logo on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, You're going to see that bitch regardless. <laughs> so they got to, they, they, they too busy flooding their closet with designer mm-hmm. that they not taking that money and really putting it into a marketing scheme. You know what I'm saying? Once you get a viral hit, you're not really on. Mm -hmm. You ain't on yet. You feel me? So you need to be getting you some type of, uh, uh, what they call that, uh, that, that, the one that that take care of your business. Not a manager, because most of you niggas want a manager for a sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) To pay for everything. This is somebody having shit with a secretary. You know what I'm saying? A sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) But uh, yeah, y'all gotta y'all gotta continue on with the business side of it. Mm -hmm. You know, they think that they got a viral hit. They go get the chain. They go get the watch, and still go buy some more designer. And they partying and shit, thinking they own. Mm -hmm. You just scratching the surface. You ain't really scratched the surface yet. You feel me? So you got to put that money into marketing so you can hit a bigger, uh, you can hit more eyes. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And keep building from there. Mm-hmm. What, what, what is the biggest pro for, um, step up to the mic for you? What, what has it been? I get to tap into a lot of different artists that, so with the price mm-hmm. that I'm giving it out for, you know, it's affordable and you get high quality production. What's the price? If you can name it. Right now, mm-hmm. right now is one fifty. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you said I always, right now, you yeah, said that. You yeah. said that real though. Like right had, now, it's yeah, gonna change. Right now, it's gonna change. Yeah. It's going to of course it's got to. Right. Inflation, you Infl- did. It's going up. So so but I had made changes to it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just to see where my medium was at. Okay. You know, I got you. you know, when this price is this, how many artists are hitting it up, how many artists are actually booking it, and then when the price was here, how many artists, you know, so I had to find that medium. Okay. I wasn't trying to hit nobody over the head because again, it's a growing platform. Exactly. You feel me? So you want the people to come in, you don't want to scam away. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. So, you know, right now I felt like all right, one fifty, that's that's fair. Mm-hmm. That's beyond fair. You know what I'm saying? Because I get DMs, man, man, what? 150? I was thinking, like, you was about to charge me 500, 1,000. You know what I'm saying? That shit. That make you think? You feel me? You know? But I know what, what it can get it's to. It's going to go to. But again, the money going to come. Mm-hmm. I'm not tripping on that. I have a sole purpose to build that platform to where it's a, it's 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 foundated in the city where the city acknowledges. It's a staple. Not just, not just them shooting in my DM, man. You got the city. Mm-hmm. Nah, I want that shit to be known 
when, when I they post, come down here, like <laughs> yeah, like man, we go all this coming to town mic. and they and they coming, they going to spades. Yep. you know what I'm saying. They hosting that spades or whatever, man. I need to get what I need to get what I got flow. Fact. Set up the step up to the mic, hey, man. We flying in. We gonna we need to do the step up to the mic. This, that's how I want. That's how that, that's how I feel too. You remember? If they come do the video by you, come do the podcast. Yeah, go do the podcast. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then then do, then have your party that night, Facts. and then you fly out the next morning. You Facts. feel me? Facts. That's how it should be. Mm-hmm. Like a whole promo yeah, run. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a whole promo run. Correct, correct. Right. So until I get it to that point, you know, that's my whole objective. That's my goal, mm-hmm. and that's where I see it. All right. Um, The price doesn't change depending on, like, song length or something? Like, if you I got tell a artists, long song. I tell all this, I tell all this, man, don't, don't, don't. Don't give me no song longer than three minutes and 50 seconds. Three okay. and a half. What the fuck? That? Three minutes, 50 seconds. Yeah. Okay, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? But most artists, man, they've, they've adapted to the attention span of people nowadays. Yeah, so, so a three-minute song is long. Yeah, it is. Nowadays, you know, we was used to three-minute yeah. songs, four-minute three songs, five-minute <laughs> songs. We yeah. was used to that. Nah, but now, yeah. man, two minutes, two and a half, you, you, you it. pushing it two and a half. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you got a hook and a verse. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it right now. Um, we talked about the pro. What's the cons? If there are any. The cons is just, the cons is. All this. All this, yeah. <laughs> dealing with all this, I know bro. You said. Dealing with all this. <laughs> it's dealing with all this, man. Uh-huh. But you know, I've, um, yeah, I just had to say dealing with all this, dog. Yeah. I don't even want to get too in deep with that. You, know you don't got to, brother. Because before I had my podcast, I used to, um, I used to pull up on artists in they in their vicinity, wherever they was at, their uh-huh. homes, the block, everywhere, bro. I just had to stop doing it, though. Yeah. I and I shot music videos. I I shoot them here and there selectively now. Yeah, but. I just don't like dealing with artists. To say I got a podcast, bro, I still don't shit, like dealing with artists. Like, they don't understand, like, what we deal with, bro. And 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 it's crazy because you would think, sometimes I, I get caught up thinking people. Think like you. Think or, 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 or would move like I move. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they don't. Mm-hmm. So I got I had to get out of getting frustrated with them because mm-hmm. they're like, man, what the fuck is you... <laughs> Like, what is you thinking? You expecting like yeah, you expecting your standards from them, exactly. But you can't, but do. you can't though, right? Because they're gonna try to get as much as they can for the littlest and nothing. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. So, but yeah, that's what it is. Just all it's just dealing with all this. That's, yep. that's the kind. You got people at your price, like you say, one fifty. They still might come in there. You could do it for hundred, brother. You could do it for seventy five. Yeah. Like goddamn, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And I feel like fuck with what, with what I'm producing. That one fifty is worth it. Man, let me tell you, that's why I say I'm about to, I'm going to drop me a song, and I'm going to show y'all how to do this shit. I'm serious. <laughs> I can't rap, dog. I'm not a rapper, but I feel like I can get somebody the, to write. I get my man mouth. Shine Ali to write me something. Mm-hmm. You hear me? And I'm going to go in the booth, and I'm going to record that bitch, and I'm going to show y'all what a 30-day what a run okay. look like. You hear me? You're going to have yeah. a step up to the mic video? I'm going to have it all. Because <laughs> I know, because I know I'm going to invest in me. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I when I when I started doing the video production, I invested in me. Mm-hmm. You feel me? From cameras to lenses. Now, mind you, I bought a lot of shit that I didn't need. Same. So you know, <laughs> you go oh, to Amazon but, and go but, look at but that I'm shit. going to invest in me because <laughs> I know for a fact that I'm gonna right. give my all, yep. regardless. You feel me? Exactly. So, but bullshit. they don't they don't understand that, man. They think a lot of them think they really be working. Nah, they don't. They don't, dog. Y'all don't be working all this. Don't take it as a um, thing. Y'all just got to be think, consistent. They think and going in that boot and recording, writing. That's it. They it's more it. to that, man. Come on, man. Ain't nobody blowing up just from going to the studio. Yeah, you. It's, it's, it's more a... to that, man. You got to really learn that shit. Mm-hmm. You got to learn the business aspect of it. You know what I'm saying? And just learn the music. Like, learn what get the people moving. Mm-hmm. Facts. Um, I got a um, question about your logo. What was um uh, what what went into making this logo? Man, shout and out what is it? Shout out to my man Hildo. Uh Hildo out there in Seattle. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He basically do all my logos. He pricey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but shout out to him. It's uh, said, oh, yeah. <laughs> Demon 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 Killer Graphics, you okay. hear me? And uh this here, like, if you look at it, my name Joseph. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just just to let you know. Uh-oh, we, we got the name so, out of him, y'all. So, you see, he wasn't so, giving it. So, look. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is the J. Okay, and that's right? a G? No, this is the L. Oh. But, if you if you look into it a little more, I. this the I, yeah. the G, mm-hmm. 
and then you got the F. So okay, for I got flow. So it's combined, you dig? And he okay. he whipped that bitch. And the thing about it is, this had to be the logo mm -hmm. because it was nothing that was said. So all the only thing I told him was I wanted a iconic logo. Okay. And he took that shit from now. He basically like one thing about like he take his shit serious. Mm -hmm. Like when you hit him up. He gonna tell you, give me your Instagram, give me your Facebook. He gonna see. And he you. gonna do the research. I'll see who you. Right. He gonna see who you are, what your brand is about, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what he did. And he took that shit, bro. And when he sent me this, I was like, yeah, that's, that's the it. one. No it ain't even. It ain't ain't no revisions. None of that. Fire. He hit it on the nose. Yeah. Then yeah, dog, bro. Facts. I got um a couple more um questions for you, but um just to let um no flow on the. Tavis was podcast. This your first time here. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. our first time meeting as well. Yeah. Um, we do a little segment with some relationship cards right here. <laughs> they call relationship debate cards. Just to All get right. the people know a little bit All right. about you outside of what you I don't like is people in. knowing me like yeah, that, right. but it's good. They, We're gonna they, fuck they with it. They don't know you, brother. It's you just some saying? things, just some little cards that you give your opinion on, you dig. All right. You know what I mean? If you don't want to answer, say no comment. We're gonna I move on you. to the next card. <laughs> I ain't gonna put, yeah. I, I, I ain't gonna give you no real pressure cards. Let's get you know? it. It's good. You hear me? But show um, a couple is staying in a relationship because of the kids. Is this noble or foolish? Explain. It's foolish. Okay. Because them kids, they grow up and they gonna leave. Mm -hmm. Then what y'all gonna do? Them kids get older and they gonna they gonna be like, all right. All right. Because they're going to get into their relationships and mom and dad ain't. ain't Still no, at the house, yeah. huh? Being dysfunctional. Now, y'all, y'all, y'all dysfunctional. Y'all miserable mm -hmm. because y'all really don't want to be there. And you're missing out on Real life. where you need to be and where he need to be, where she need to be and where he need to be. You know what I'm saying? So you done passed up all your blessings, right. both of y'all, because y'all just want to stick together for the kids. Man, look. Fuck them kids. You hear me? <laughs> and the famous yeah, word, fuck yeah, them kids. You know what I'm saying? We love them kids, but man, right, look, fuck them fuck kids. Them kids. <laughs> them kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thanks, man. I, that, was a, um, that was a great answer right there. Let's, yeah. let's go to another let's one, man. To it. Well, I was out the top of the deck, man. Look. Out the top of the deck, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you. We love you. We'll do anything for you. Uh -huh. But shit, we got to live. Right. Thanks. Um, all right. You're meeting your best friend, new significant other, for the first time. While being introduced, you awkwardly hug because you had sex before. Who should you tell first? Oh, the best ask, friend. Oh, <laughs> ask that one again. Um, you meeting your best friend, right? Girlfriend, right? For the first time, while being introduced, you awkwardly hug because y'all had sex before, right? Who should tell your best friend first? You or the woman? See me speaking from me. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even hug her. All right. I wouldn't even hug her. The moment I see her, mm -hmm. I'm letting them know. Because that's that's how I move. Right there? Before she even walk in? Man, see, before brother. she that's even walk in. That's your lady? Come, come holler at me. Mm -hmm. Come right. holler at me. Look, bro, this is what it is, dog. We had relations. So you could take that how you want to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We did that. You got to get that. That was in the past. Though, so right? now it's, it's on you to however you want to proceed on moving forward. But... I'm not about to be in her presence with mm. you. Like that, that ain't going to work. That shit, man, I'm not that type of cat. For sure. Um, all right. What if you don't want to continue after that? Could you hang around them too? What if he wanted to continue the relationship yeah. with her? Can you if hang he, around if he, if he, Man, that's... That's tough. I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. I couldn't hang around him. All right, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, how, 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 how early in the game we talking about? We talking about a few months ago. No, no, no. A year ago, <laughs> two years ago, year. three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it a good, let make it, yeah, a good couple years ago. A like, couple years ago? Yeah, well, y'all didn't have multiple sexual partners after yeah, that. Yeah, I probably, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It depended on how it ended. Yeah, it makes sense. All right. That, that, that play a part. That, that it probably was just a little quick one-nighter. Yeah, oh, it was a one-nighter? Yeah. Yeah, but then again, I might have been like, damn, man, where's shawty been at? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, Not man. Shut, fault, you know, like, damn, man. That one night just wasn't enough, you heard? God like, damn. Yeah, you can't hit with no more, brother. Yeah. So you I can't be around him because yeah. now I'm thinking, like, you remember, man, that, like, I was too was. drunk that night, and I really didn't give my all like I know I could have gave, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't need to hit with him no more, brother. Let it go. Like all right. Uh, you find out your um, significant other has been communicating with an ex. Oh, shit. Would this bother you? Explain. I'm a real nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. Secretly? 
communicating. Say, say you found out, so it so probably was, yeah, was. so you didn't know. Yeah, hell yeah, I got a problem with that. Okay, what, what's 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 the communication about? Y'all got kids together. I doubt it. If y'all ain't got no kids going. together, and, and y'all talking, and I don't know about it. And when I do find out, it's a problem. Okay, you how would you address me? it? What would the first question be? Why are you doing this? Well, see, I'm a Sagittarius. You hear me? Twelve twenty. So oh, me no. addressing something, we normally we, we normally don't address nothing. You hear me? Nah, I ain't no astrologist, but I know that you know you could tell a lot about a person from their sign. But you. at the same time, I say this. Like Sagittarius don't address shit because when we do address it, it's a problem. Mm-hmm. So it, 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 it so I don't know how. Leave. Yeah, I, I had, to, <laughs> I had, to, I had a role because now, now I don't trust you. All right, for sure. So trust that trust is gone reveal. because you, you hollering at your ex, and I don't know about it. And what's the what y'all got to talk about? Nothing. Exactly. Not so what else y'all thing. got to what y'all reminiscing? Y'all having you? conversations? You and him. Yeah. So it ain't nothing else. Y'all ain't talking about the Saints game. <laughs> The what fuck y'all talking? Bro. You talking to Say me this. about that, you hey, bro, why, why are my saints catching strays, brother? <laughs> hey, bro, I fuck we with ain't nothing to talk about I'll this fuck year. With them, you I know? didn't took the poster down them and everything. There are com- conversations for every New Orleanians convo. They're, that, they're the topic. True. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's why I said combo, the same. Hey, fuck it. Um, what 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 um uh, month is the Sagittarius split on? So they start uh no, in, the end of November. Oh, to, you uh, coming up? To uh, December twenty one. So your birthday coming up? Yeah, twelve twenty. Facts. Happy yeah. early birthday, my Appreciate brother. Appreciate that. You hear me? Mm, all right, let's do one more, brother. Mm-hmm. Um, I fuck with this year. Yeah, let's get it. All right. Oh, we gonna get two. We gonna do two more then, <laughs> since he fuck with it, y'all. See, man, we got that side yeah. of flow out, man. If a man proposes to his girlfriend and she declines, is the relationship over? Done. Damn. How? Done. It just went from you proposing to done. Yeah, because like, what is that like? <laughs> so you don't love me the way I love you. Okay. I just propose to you. Mm-hmm. I want you to be my forever. They can't be not ready. Ain't no way. All right, let, let me put it to you like this: mm-hmm. There is no way mm-hmm. a woman is not ready to get married. Okay. Men are not ready because women are born to want to be Somebody a wife. wife. You know All what I'm right. saying? Now they may get fucked up over time with the world, right? But deep down, a woman they want to has it in them to be a wife. Okay. You feel me? So when you telling me. I propose to you, and you say no, then I'm not the one you want to marry. Yeah. Not that you don't want to get married or right. you're not ready. I'm just not the one. Okay. So that's why I say it. And, and it's nothing that I can do. To change that. To, yeah, to change that because you know a woman going to know off the bat. She's going to be in her sleep, in, the, in her Bobby, bed, thinking about it. You feel him. me? Yeah, I can't <laughs> wait till he acts. We're throwing you hints and shit. You yep. feel me? All right, so for sure. that's why I say that shit is dead. It's over with. You might as well move on. For sure. So how would that end though? Damn. How would that end? You would just it, end it like it would end when you said no, because <laughs> you ain't gonna stand there and say no. You gonna you gonna have to walk off. <laughs> so when you walk off, I'm going the opposite direction. Just don't do it in public. Yeah, don't bro. do it in public. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know for sure right. she don't say yes, you better do it somewhere closed it's off private. and just a private. Just y'all two. And some candles mm-hmm. and your knee and a pillow, you know what I'm saying? That's like a shit, pillow. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't putting my knee on the somewhere ground. close to your house because you're gonna go in your room and you're gonna cry. Yeah, you're gonna have to let it out. All right, last one for real, y'all. Um, no, I don't want to do that one. Pick it and choose. <laughs> 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 that one was too easy. I know your answer for that all one. Right, you heard me right. based off your answer you gave. Um, all right, you dating a person and they say they want to wait until marriage to have sex. How would you respond? I'm with it. All right, but you better be a virgin. Not don't don't pull that shit. You've been you've been wilding out and then you meet me and you won't hold out on me mm-hmm. like like you trying to get you know a new contract. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so right, so you're not yeah you're not about to hold out on me. Uh, and, 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 and then you know you feel like oh. I, you know, I don't want to marry you, so I didn't wait it all these months or years. Mm-hmm. Or if so, we getting married next month. Then. Quick, huh? Because cause if you like me, <laughs> I like you. You know what I'm saying? Like the little note you would pass. Uh-huh. I like you. Check this box if you like me. All right, we, we girlfriend, boyfriends. That's Quick. the same motherfucking way. Send it oh, back. I can't get it? Well, I'm fucking with you. Mm-hmm. Boom. We about to get married. All right, man. That's y'all it. y'all got the um relationship debate cards from Flo, man. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about his answer, you dig? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was firm on all of them. Like here, dog, I that's you the can, only way I know how to be. <laughs> yeah. I don't think y'all can move his answers. He he firm on all them things. But, but I got, I got uh, you go ahead. But we could discuss it. You know what I'm saying? It's we open, could, huh? Yeah, it's an open discussion. Like I said, it's a debate. I got a couple more questions I want to ask you about mm-hmm. your platform, brother. Before I let you go, um, the I got flow productions. It, it's a video production. I bet it's coming Correct. here. Correct. Um, when you feel you're going to be getting back to the videos, the weddings, all the other things outside of the st- step up to the Probably mic. next year. Okay. Probably next year, dog. Um, I just got to set my mind right mm-hmm. and get straight on that. And then, uh, yeah, next year, man, we're going to take, we're going to take off. I really, I really be, I really be spanning y'all. Mm-hmm. I really be spanning all these videographers. But shout out to all the vid- videographers that's doing anything. Shout out to, uh, Refresh, uh, Deck Straight Dope, mm-hmm. um, I think it's Dex, some shit like that. But anyway, um, who else? Who else they got, man? Pineapple Films. Ryan C. Uh, uh, y'all know who y'all are, dog, man. Shout out to y'all, you feel me? Mm-hmm. But I really be spamming them. I just, like, fall back because I know, like, I could really take over <laughs> Put this that pressure shit. out on them, Yeah, man. I could really take over. And it's not even it, aimed at them. We need healthy competition, it's not, Yeah, it's healthy competition. That. But it's not even aimed at them, and I don't feel like it's competition. Mm-hmm. I just know what I'm capable of. Yeah, as you should. I just been given, I just been given mid. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I haven't even, like, went in my bag. Okay. You feel me? So if, when I go in my bag, just okay. know. Y'all think y'all see that logo on, on these step up to the mic. You're going to see that logo on everywhere. Video, you know what everywhere. I'm saying? Um, what equipment do you have? What cameras? Um, mics? Man, I use, um, I use a Sony a7 III, mm-hmm. and I use a Sony a7 II, dog. Okay. You know, the camera is, 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 is only a part of it. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's how you set that motherfucker. Yeah, it's the, the lighting. Man, it's the man you know, not you, a woman you gotta, yeah, you gotta know what you doing. Cause mm-hmm. I had, I had a few people ask me, man, what you use? You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's that's all I really use as far as the step up to the mic. You okay. feel me? Um, for the people who don't know, how expensive are those cameras? For people who don't know, what a Sony A seven three, you say A seven three? Yeah, uh, the A seven three. Uh, that's a that's an old one. When they dropped the A seven four. Um, I just ain't upgraded in some years, but you probably running around eighteen to two thousand for so, that one. But when I got it, it was like twenty five, twenty six. Newly, A seven three is on Amazon, two thousand bucks. Yeah. So hey, it's yeah. expensive, yeah, fellas. The A seven, the A seven two, you probably get that right now for about eight hundred. When I got it, it was like sixteen, seventeen. You hear me? So, mm-hmm. like I said, you know what I'm saying? I I need to upgrade, and that's why I say I ain't really got my bag. I'm just okay. I'm, I'm still working with shit. Five, six years ago, you know what I'm saying? They didn't drop two and three other models, you know, of that same model, you know what I'm saying? Just upgraded it, you feel me? Um, expansion. Do you feel you're gonna be adding somebody to your team to make more money? Yeah. You could be in one setup over here, they could be across town doing more. Yeah, my my, my youngins. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, got, got a couple youngins. Okay. That could that could take it, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, that's that's on me mm-hmm. to to get them the game, yeah, you feel me, and I be I be slacking on that shit, you mm-hmm. feel me, because I I be really trying to let them do what they feel they want to do, but they ain't hit me with nothing yet. So it's like, come on, you you let me know what you want to do, I could just bring you into my world, okay, and we can get it together for sure. Is yeah. it is it hard to like trust someone with your baby? Like hell yeah, the, your business like I ain't know. nobody gonna do it like you exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody gonna do it like you, dog. So. Hell yeah, it's hard as a motherfucker, and especially the type of person I am. Mm-hmm. I'm real like Look it's gotta be done details. this way, yep. that way. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I'm not the easiest person to work mm-hmm. with, but I'm gonna get the shit done. At least you know that though. Yeah, I know. I know for a fact. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know for a fact. I'm not the easiest person, to, but that makes a that makes a good a boss, great product, uh, a, a a good leader. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That you never gonna. Find the ones that's easy to work with, that's good at what they do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because they know what it takes mm-hmm. to get to that level of excellence. You sure. feel me? And like I say, I ain't even reached my potential. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I still got to dig in that bag and, and and give it to them. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Ain't nobody going to do your business how you do your business, man. But right. That's all I got for you, Flo, brother. You got any right. other things you want to touch on? Man, look, Shine Ali, mm-hmm. you just dropped a couple singles. I need y'all to fuck with that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like he got it. Mm-hmm. It's real rap, but I know with the with the way 
the direction that the music is going, you know what I'm saying? But he got that real rap, bro. If y'all just give him a listen, you know what I'm saying? Check him out and y'all make y'all own, you know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all make y'all own, y'all, you know, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you give your own opinion yeah, about him. Yeah, y'all give y'all own opinion about him. But, you know, tapping with him, he's streaming everywhere, you feel me? Um, I got flow, we here. We not going nowhere, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? We gonna keep building from here, man. And look, I only want the serious ones to jump in my DM. I really don't want nobody in my DM. Mm-hmm. But for some reason, people got a email. problem with texting the phone. Oh, the it ain't, phone? I got the, look, I got my phone, I'm on that bitch. I got my email on there mm-hmm. in my bio. So like, you jumping in my <laughs> DM, dog, that shit is, that's nerve, that shit, uh-huh. that shit irks my nerve, dog. <laughs> For real, bro. I'm phone, like, man, man, look, just hit my line. I ain't got no problem with y'all getting my number, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But look, let's get it, man. Only serious artists, man. Rappers, artists, R and B singers. Uh, I need more. I need more R and B singers though on the platform. R&B. I got so many rappers, man. I need more R and B singers. I don't know what what it, like the R and B singers don't tap in. I don't know what it is. I had a few, I believe, but they really don't tap in. I don't know why. Either. Um, last, I said last question, but last question. Um, why your name Flo? I got Flo. I just took the flow. <laughs> 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 Everybody started. Look, it, it, you know, you, the streets gonna give you your name. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like Flo. Okay. They just would hit me up. Hey Flo. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey Flo. Hey, how, how the lady say? How the lady say? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, they just was hitting me up, so I just like, fuck I don't, I don't know if y'all heard that on the camera, y'all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want nobody, you know what I'm saying? Uh, calling me by my government no uh, more, you hear me? For sure, you yeah. just, Hey, that's what it is. Um, But, tape is, oh, yeah, you um, you say you're um, making a song. You want to rap before you leave? <laughs> <laughs> I'll rap somebody else shit. Heard that, man. <laughs> but, man, we got, like I said, I got Flow the Podcast. I'm telling man. y'all, Tabers man, I'm about to podcast. drop that song, man. I'm telling you. What is going to be called, brother? I don't know yet. But when I drop it, you're going to know that bitch going to go viral. For sure. I'm going to turn the notifications <laughs> on, on the page. Speaking it into existence, you like, <laughs> Facts, man. Tabers was Podcast 2023. Happy holidays. Give my dog a happy early birthday, 1220, you dig? And we out.